<laughs> with great energy. Get in the show. <laughs> Here we are again. And I promise we are not in Fremont this time. We are in Redwood City for the first time on Boba Diaries. We're going to check out a spot called Tea Time. I picked this place because they serve crepes. Is it crepes or crepes? Crepe. Crepe. Yeah, comment down below. Yeah, crepe. <laughs> no, that's Italian. The crepe is French. Crepe. Come on. Come on. Anyway, what time is it? Boba time. Well, this time it's tea time. Oh, it's tea time. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to do something fun today. Boba. Boba Diaries. So the idea is we're going to go to different boba spots and we're going to try their boba and their snacks. And let you know if it's worth your time and money. Ooh, she is just going at her drink already, chewing yeah. on that boba. <laughs> so what did you get, young lady? I got coffee milk tea. And I got the classic boba milk tea. I figured this would be a good one to try to really see what the place is made of. What are your thoughts on your drink so far? This one, you could really taste the boldness of the coffee. The boldness? Yeah. Bold. <laughs> Sounds like a coffee commercial. I know. <laughs> Hey, I graduated from coffee university. Oh yeah, that's right. She's a coffee <laughs> university graduate. The boba itself, the texture, mm, it's not that good. Okay. Mm, the taste is not that good too. I guess I'm giving this like a three. Oh, that's surprising because this place was really highly rated on Yelp. So I, like I said, I got the classic boba milk tea. Right away, I have to say the coldness level, it is great. On a scale of one to five, this is a four out of five. Except Tiger Milk Boba in San Jose is the gold standard, as, as well as the Yifeng mm. Taiwan Fruit Tea. I really like their cups, oh, yeah. actually. I like the shape of the cups. It's really easy to hold. It's really well rounded off and short and stout. It's supposed to be tall and like really slim. Um, the flavor of this classic Boba Milk Tea, it's good. I could see if I got 100% sugar, it'd be really, really good. It doesn't quite taste like, you know, milk boba. Tea. Like, no, it doesn't taste like milk tea. It almost tastes like very light chocolate milk. Do you, do you agree? I think they, they don't use black tea. They use a different type of tea. Almost flowery. Tastes like, almost like jasmine What is nice is they, they use non-dairy creamer by default. So mm -hmm. the reason that's nice is because dairy actually makes you bloat, bloat and gives you inflammation. So that's what I like. To give this a score, um, I'm gonna I'd say I'd give it a 3.5. I give it the 0.5 above the 3 because it is good. Non dairy cream is guys going for it, good cold level. Like I said, it just doesn't taste like milk tea. I can't yeah. give it a 4. But that's not all we got. We got some snacks this time around. You guys saw the pictures and look at this baby. Oh, this looks good. This is the reason why I picked this place is because they, they have crepes over here. Look at that banana crepes. Shall we? Yep, we shall. Ladies first. Where do we eat this? I don't know really. So maybe you maybe to. you really have to slice it. So I guess right away then, you know, since you have to really slice it with your fork and knife, you probably need to put it in a better container than this. It's hard to slice on something like this. Yeah, but it's the so, bowl. Something, you know, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, so there is no place yeah. to eat it there. That's so you need yeah. something flatter, but that's just not as deep so you can actually get in there and slice it. You know what? I think we're just gonna have to break the container here. It's the only thing's our only option. Oh, so look at that. It looks like the container is actually meant to unfold. Oh yeah. There you go. So there you go. That's convenient. But they didn't tell us that. So I wonder if you know they had this in mind. So what do you think of this uh, banana crepe? It's good. It's just hard to eat. I wonder if it'll be good if it's like kind of like hot still because currently it's a little bit it's a little bit on the rough side yeah yeah but 
the taste is good. Banana and Nutella just taste good together. So yeah, what is good is they, on all their crepes, they have Nutella and whipped cream mm -hmm. on them. They put a good amount of whipped cream and Nutella too, like just the right amount. It's not too sweet. It's just like a balanced taste between Nutella, whipped cream, and banana itself. And they they're not stingy with the banana too mm -hmm, yeah so there's a good amount of banana here you would see the whipped cream so the filling is like evenly distributed with the whole thing so i'm giving this like a four the only thing that the, it holds me back in terms of giving it a five is the texture and it's just hard to eat mm. yeah i mean i'm not gonna repeat everything she said she was on point with all of her points so i just said points and twice in one set that's really awkward huh the, you know the crepe even though she just made it it's just really rough right yeah. you know i don't know if it's still there but in the philippines there is this place that's called crepes and cream mm -hmm. that's really good ice cream and crepes and the crepes are freshly made and they're really soft mm -hmm. you know and then they serve it in like in a cone like thing so it's easy to eat mm -hmm. as well oh this might be the roughest crepe i've ever had actually like at, almost a robbery. Even at uh, the, another place in the Philippines, Cafe Briton, which specializes in crepes. Yeah. It's, also, you know, it's also freshly made and very soft. The flavor is really good. Now she mentioned everything's well balanced. So I would have to give this a 3.5. You know, there's a lot to be improved there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this could easily be a 4 to 4.5. Maybe yeah. even a 5. A even. 5, yeah. In regards to the location, what are your thoughts? It's small. Like you've said, there's nothing to take pictures, you know, inside the, the location itself. Then the menu is, there's no picture. It's just printed on paper. Yeah. It's literally someone just quickly put a bullet point list on, you know, Microsoft Word and printed it out. Yeah. And I think there's a lot to to be improved in terms of, you know, the interior design of the tea time place. There's no place to eat as well, so it's just like all to go. In terms of the the whole location, the environment, it's nice. If you finish like you know drinking your tea or something, you wanna walk somewhere. It's it's a nice place. But the uh, tea time, you know, like infrastructure itself. Actually, I'm giving it three point five because the the customer service is really good. Yeah, she's really nice. You know, it didn't take a while for us to get a drink, even if she's just by herself. I don't know if I would classify it as really good. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, yeah. Um, for me, the plaza is really nice here in Redwood City, but the store itself, I mean, it just needs so much work. From, yeah. Like I said, the Microsoft Word, you know, bullet point menus just to the look. I mean, there's no design inside. Yeah. There's no oh, thought. There's no there's no thought put into it. And there yeah, there's nowhere to eat and start drink inside. This is a two. It's basically just a kitchen with a paper menu from yeah. Microsoft Word. But it's clean it's though. It is clean. That's why it is a two. But yeah, you know, they, they got a lot to work with in terms of locations. Mm -hmm. There you have it. So this was just an okay one. Yeah. Well, yeah, Yelp. I mean guess you know, you never know what you got on Yelp, right? Mm -hmm. What people think is good. But you guys know what to do at this point. Or perhaps you ordered a different one because I see I saw that the the most popular drink that they have is the mango, like kinda like mango shake mm. and peach shake shake. So perhaps they're known for Yeah. Like, that's not really shake. that's not really a boba like yeah. drink though, right? Yeah. Anyway, hope you guys like this episode of Boba Diaries. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, turn on those notifications, and comment down below. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Boba on this and at Facebook at Mike and Chris on this. Yep. Okay, we'll see you next time. See ya. See you at the next Boba Spot. See ya.